Quality of service. To ensure that traffic is forwarded with the priority importance that the customer requires, the most important and time-sensitive traffic needs to be forwarded quickly and have a guaranteed portion of the available resources. To achieve that, we configure the routers with appropriate quality of service, or QAS. Traffic classes and priority. Different classes of traffic flow between the two routers. In a typical network, it's also very likely that a large amount of transit traffic passes through both of them. Let's examine the more important traffic types that we need to treat specially. Network management traffic is of the highest importance because it is necessary to ensure the stability of the network. It must be treated with high priority and handled to make sure such traffic is always forwarded, no matter what the underlying network load or conditions may be. The second category includes the network control layer, such as IP routing protocols. For network and routing stability, we must be sure that this traffic is forwarded whenever possible. Next, there is bi-directional PTP traffic between the PTP master and slave carrying the clocking information. This traffic is very sensitive to latency and jitter, so it must be allocated to a low latency priority queue. The last class of special traffic in our example is pseudo-wire traffic, encapsulated in MPLS and usually marked with an experimental tag of 5. This traffic is moderately sensitive to delay and jitter, so we must also allocate it to the priority queue. Define Quas class maps. We begin by defining class maps, which select the traffic we are going to treat with a Quas policy. We select the vital network management traffic by matching packets with a DSCP value of CS7, which is the highest priority value available. We define a class map structure to achieve this with a match statement. Next is the network control traffic, which we select by matching packets with a DSCP value of CS6, the second highest priority value. Now, we need to select traffic at priority level 5, which includes the most latency sensitive of the traffic classes. This includes both PTP and the MPLS encapsulated pseudo-wire traffic. PTP is selected by matching packets with a DSCP of EF, which is the most common packet marking used by PTP clocks. Pseudo-wire traffic is also carried at priority 5, but this traffic is normally encapsulated in MPLS. To select this, we define a class map that finds traffic with an MPLS experimental bit set to 5. Now that we have selected the traffic with our class maps, we define policy maps which tell the routers how the previously defined classes of traffic are to be treated. Define policy maps and apply policy. To specify QAS actions, we first define a policy map with a chosen name. Then, for each class of traffic to handle, we define which class of traffic to act upon and the action to take. The most important action we must take for our solution is to make sure that the PTP and pseudo-wire traffic is placed in the low latency priority queue. So we use the class name for this traffic that we defined in the last step, and we assign this traffic to the priority queue with the keyword priority. The routing and network control traffic is also very important to the functioning and stability of the network. So, we select the traffic in that class and guarantee this traffic a predetermined minimum portion of the network throughput, 2% in this case, by using the keywords bandwidth remaining. A similar construct is used to guarantee some bandwidth for network management traffic, and we allocate a nominal 5% for that. Now, we have completed the definition of policy actions that are needed to be applied to that traffic. The final step in the QAS configuration is to apply these policy actions to an interface. Here, we see that the policy map is applied to the interface between the routers as an output service policy. Of course, remember that this is a minimal QAS to complete our solution. When considering a more complex network with many other types of traffic, a more extensive QAS scheme will probably be required. 
Confirm Quas Configuration and Statistics. Each item in the configuration of the Quas on the router can be checked. This command allows the class map definitions to be examined. Similarly, the policy definitions can also be checked to make sure that they are configured properly. Most importantly, the statistics for the Quas execution processor should be monitored. With this command, the operator can see how much traffic is being matched by each class, how much space is being used to buffer traffic, and how many packets are being dropped through congestion.